This is 16 by 24 inch metal print that I got. I framed it myself with a floating frame design with an eighth of an inch reveal around it. It's made out of cherry wood that I milled myself with, with some walnut splines as well. If you want to learn how to mount a metal print, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, I got four pieces of cherry. To get to this point, I, I took a board of cherry, finished on two sides, cross cut it on a miter saw. Then I took it over the table saw, cut it to inch and three quarters. Then I took that and cut it down to five eighths width. Then I just ran it through the planer and got rid of all the burn marks. They're all 27 inches long, so I'm gonna cut two of them to 24 and a quarter and two of them to 16 and a quarter. That will leave me with an eighth of an inch reveal around the whole print. I'm gonna take them over to the framing jig that I built and cut these to size. Okay, time for glue up. Use a blue tape method. I'm going to go get my framing clamp because I've got one. So they're in the middle of the frame. So this isn't very tight yet. I'm gonna move this off my work table so I wanna make sure it stays square. Well, oh, these things are really nice to have. I use these things all the time. Okay, I have to make a decision. Do I want two splines on here or just one? one spline in the middle or two splines. I made marks on each. I think I'll go with the two splines. This is inch and three quarters. First, I'll set the, the blade height. Just wanna make sure that it doesn't go all the way through. I think I'll lower it a little bit. That should be good right there. Make sure it's lined up, make a cut. So now it's time for the glue up. So I cut this piece to two inches. This is gonna be my strainer. I just went ahead and cut this at 45, put it in the corner nice and tight. And then I'll mark the other corner. I'll cut on just the outside of the line, so keep it nice and tight. I'll sneak up on that line. So I left just a little bit of that line there. Okay, it's a good fit. I did the same thing on this side. Just making sure everything fits in there. I'll mark it. So I know where, where they go. Now all I need to do is put some pocket screws in here and then paint it black. Okay, the first thing I did was set it up for three quarter inch stock and then inch and a quarter screws. Put that down there and then adjust the collar down to be flush. That's for inch and a quarter. And of course, I will drill and verify that's gonna work.
Okay, I'll let the glue dry overnight. Looks good. Pull saw out. It's the best tool for cutting it flush. After getting the tape off, so I just finished sanding it, 180, 220, and then 320. In between 220 and 320, I took a damp cloth and raised the grain, and then I sanded again at 320. I'm gonna finish it with this armor seal. So let me get a tack cloth, get all the dust off. Okay, it's the next day. I have a sanding sponge. 320 grit. Okay, I got some pieces of the backer board. I'm going to use the spacers. Make sure the strainers sit on top of them. Okay, now that I know the strainer fits, I'll go ahead and get it glued up. Okay, this, this frame is all glued up. I have a backer board that's gonna go in here. It's gonna get nailed onto the strainer here, so I need this to be flush with the side. So I'll go ahead and clamp this while I put the pocket screws in. Got the strainer screwed into the sides. Now I gotta figure out how much to raise the print off of the strainer. For that, I'm gonna use my caliper. Times like this, I wish I used millimeters. 4364 What the heck is that? Looks like about 11 sixteenths. Yeah, 11 sixteenths. I'll go cut a piece, a couple of pieces to 11 sixteenths and see if that's gonna give me this print flush with the frame. So 11 sixteenths will put it just below the surface of the frame. I think that's where I want it. Okay, I went and ripped some of this one by stock down to 11 sixteenths. Uh, it doesn't have to be pretty. This is where the mounting tape's gonna go. It will hold up the metal print. It's actually far enough back that I don't have to paint it black either. Um, this is only three quarters of an inch wide, so I'm gonna use the half inch version of that double-sided tape. Getting the print on here with the reveal being an eighth inch all the way around. These are eighth inch backer boards I'm gonna put on here. They're hard boards that you can buy at Home Depot. That's what I use for the back. I put the slick side where the metal is going to go. So give me my eighth inch reveal all the way around. Drop the metal print in there. What I do is I get it all the way up against the top. Okay, I went ripped some hardboard down. Should fit right in there. Perfect. Okay, for this I'm gonna use my staple gun. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I think it turned out pretty nice. Learning how to frame these metal fronts will come in handy, that's for sure. If this was any value to you, be sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate it.